Do you make a lot of you, Robert? <laughs> Uh, but mostly oil or high lake oil. Okay. It has a premium price. Well, these are a confectionery here. Mm -hmm. That's good. But you know, you guys were asking about surge. Y'all probably have a lot more water. What size is your main line? 30% more acres and be more efficient than we could if we were watering 20 30% less acres and trying to water as well. Right. Now, of course, that's going to be on soil time. You know, our sandier soils uh, lend themselves very well to watering every other row because the root systems are very, you know, they can go. They can go where the water's in. But in a, if you have a much tighter soil type, and what Robert told me, are really our soil types are fairly similar. Is that right, Robert? All right, I'll be talking about the canopy here. Go ahead. Hey, what what yeah. efficiency can you expect with the surge system? Water use efficiency. Well, you know, once the canopy, once you get your canopy growing, your efficiency is going to be a lot, a lot higher because your rows are shaded from the sun's light, from evaporation coming up. And I think in a canopy like this, or a canopy of corn, or where you have beans, or they're nearly lamp in the middle, anything that blocks the sunlight from getting down to that narrow strip of water that you're putting down there, uh, and, and, and causing it to be lost to evaporation, is going to increase your efficiency on the application of that water, and I think in a canopy like this that you could get up to 90 to 95 percent efficiency with the soil. Of course, if it's real slopey ground, that's going to limit your efficiency a little bit, but on a flat ground like this, you could get very high on a soil and get a very uniform uh, wetting of, you know, the water moving in the soil very uniformly where it wouldn't be, you know, real deep on the, on the upper end and, and real deep on the lower end and real shallow in the middle like you get with row water. You probably have noticed that many times, where you're just watering uh, yeah. without a surge unit and you're just letting water run down your row. You have a lot of variation in crop size. How would that compare with uh, with a sprinkler system, middle pressure sprinkler? Right. I mentioned where, where, where you're spraying over the top, or in, or even in the middle. But okay. a sprinkler, not not a leaf. Not a leaf, but just a regular sprinkler. Uh, with a sprinkler system, you're you're wetting the entire surface of the ground. So you're naturally you're exposing more area to evaporation from the sun, especially when the crop is smaller and the canopy is not as, as, as large. Uh, once the canopy gets up tall like this, you're probably uh, on a calm day like this, you're probably going to be even even Stephen with with a, a, a leaf system, except the fact that you're actually going to have to use more water to get the same benefit that you would watering every other row with a leaf. You understand? Or surge. You understand that? Not with the surge. Uh, well, you don't have any noise. I have sound. <laughs> this is this is video. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you want to bleep that now. But, uh, <laughs> with the surge system, you know, the sprinkler system versus the surge system, uh, you're going to use more water with the sprinkler to get the same results than you will with the surge by itself. So, you know, you have to look at the cost of energy and versus labor savings. And what you're telling me right now, that your energy cost way is uh, far and above your labor cost. In other words, you can do labor than you can cheaper than you can do energy. Is that is that a fair Absolutely. statement? Yeah. So. I think it would be, at this point in time, it would be, uh, unless you had a labor strike and wages went up high, you know, like they have here in the state, uh, your best money spent is going to be on the soil. And I think your best uh, money spent for your crop, because now uh, they even have a way that you can inject fertilizer, you know, through the pipe and run it down your road you know, liquid fertilizer, mm -hmm. and add phosphorus and nitrogen and sulfur and zinc, you know, in with your water, if need be, as you water, you know, to give it a little extra boost. I, boy, that's a great idea. I, and I don't know why more people aren't using that really now here in the States, but I guess y'all would... Uh, well, you just start naming yeah. all the trace elements. Mm -hmm. So we have to watch very closely our soils uh, to keep them productive, to keep, uh, we like to have a lot of earthworms in our soils. Yeah. 
And then to do that, we've got to grow a higher organic crop. We usually rotate our cotton with wheat and cattle, raise cattle on. And uh, of course, the cattle will uh, take manure. the wheat back into manure and give us a lot of the uh, trace elements that we're lacking in a commercial fertilizer. Come up with the uh, two degree part of the program for uh, scheduler. No. no, that was done. That was done on a contract basis out of Michigan State. Out of Michigan State. Or Michigan, uh, University of Michigan. I wouldn't go back much farther. You'd be walking through mud and water. That's okay. We don't have much mud and water around here. Let's face it. <laughs> Normally, when you get here, it's hot and dry, and the wind's blowing. You know. And, and all the wells are going, but since he wanted to come up and show you surge systems in action, it rained. You know how that goes. Okay, uh, what, we'll get started over again. What we found on using our surge valves is, uh, first thing we do is we, say, we find out that in an overview, we save, we save water, and usually we increase our yield over just conventional uh, furrow irrigation. Uh, and we go to, on our corn crops, on our first uh, free water, we save anywhere from an inch and a half to two inches of irrigation water to get the stuff pre-watered. In season in corn, we stay somewhere between uh, half and three quarters of an inch per application. Uh, on wheat, the first in season, what we normally do is we'll save again the inch and a half to two inches per irrigation on the first one. But what we really notice on our wheat is where we have to irrigate it, we just plant it dry and water it up on these furrows. We've noticed that we get a lot better stand where we surge irrigate it up compared to where we just would be a conventional irrigation set. Uh, we normally, we pick up on wheat, 10 to uh, wheat and corn both, we pick up about 10 to 13 uh, bushels per acre yield increase. Grain sorghum will pick up about 5 to 700 pounds to the acre. Uh, corn, it'll let us safely pull down on fur irrigation to about 8, uh, eight gallons per minute per acre on water allocation. Wheat, wheat will be about the same. Grain sorghum, wheat with certain, if we're completely surged, we can get away with 7 gallons per acre without you know, experiencing much of a yield drop. Uh, and uh, that's pretty, you know, that's pretty well what we do, you know, that's pretty well uh, just a good old overview of what we do with surge. Uh, we also, you know, our toughest irrigation sets, we always put a surge valve there because every time we have instrumented, uh, you know, sets that don't like the water out, deep percolation losses, surge just does a hell of a lot better than a conventional irrigation set. And, you know, that right here, uh, what you'll notice, especially in wheat, and you'll find it in corn when you cut it, but in wheat what you'll notice is the first third of the field, the plants aren't it. There's not as many plants per acre, and the yield will be way down. And it's simply because it's, you know, this field right here is just as flat as this barn floor, mm -hmm. and uh, water just stands there too doggone long.